Who makes the best boutique guitars? Let's find out. I think I found the hottest guitar. Yeah, you exactly. stole it from Stevie Wonder? Hey, every artist is a He's going to be here today or tomorrow. What is going on here? This is kind of freaking me out. I think this is like Nam scary horror version. It's what you call a headless ergonomic guitar. It's shaped to fit the human body. Is this rated PG? No, it's an X. Can I do it, boss? Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, so I can show this. We are back live at the NAMM Show 2022 with VQS Studio, powered by Mackie. Welcome to the 2022 Boutique Guitar Showcase. I can't wait. Let's go check it out. I have never seen anything like this. It's literally bent over. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Robin. Sylvia, nice to meet you. Tell me about this. We are on the quest for the craziest guitars here at NAMM. So these guitars are made from sheet metal, and the clue is that you can move the pickup. Uh, it's, it it's attaches magnetically to the oh, surface. So you have one pickup cool. for all your usual positions, like the neck position, middle position, one pickup. I have never seen anything like that. Yeah. You have the possibility to put just effects on the treble strings uh -huh. or just on the bass strings. You can truly adjust the tone. Yeah like any way you want. Wow, that is so cool. What inspired you for this? I wanted to prove that you don't need an actual body to make a good tone. So I started with a neck only, and I, I worked with materials that are not considered to be good sounding, like mm. cushions or textiles. Then I wrapped around a piece of felt around that neck, and I got that shape. It took me quite a while to use sheet metal, and then it happened by accident with uh, attaching the, the pickup on it. What's the name of your guitar company? Verso Instruments. Verso, and where can we follow you? On Instagram, Verso Instruments. Thank you. Cool. We got something made of gold. Come on, let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is amazing. Oh, I think this won the award for the best looking guitar. Oh my goodness. The gold collection. We're doing a contest. The best looking guitar. It's gold leaf, yes. How long does something like this take? Say about two months, three months, something yeah. like that. It's a wood body and the gold leaf is uh, applied on top of it. Just takes a while, you know, it works in layers, so it always takes a while to dry. Beautiful. And if somebody wants to, you know, check out your collection online, where can they go? Spaltinstruments.com. <laughs> We made so far maybe 200 instruments. Every single piece is actually unique. This bass guitar, the symphony bass, we got an invisible magnetic pickup hidden under the fingerboard. Yep. We pre-shaped the frets before they were installed, so they end just a few millimeters before the side of the fingerboard. Magnetic pickup hidden under the fingerboard. This time I used the slide pots on the back, as well as the pickup coil switch, so it can be switched between the series and the humbucker. Awesome cutaway. We came up with the idea that bass players actually use a classical guitar manner for the thumb. I was starting my luthiery journey actually with electric violins and electric upright basses. This particular neck design is actually my upright bass design. When I wanted to build a bass guitar, upright bass shape from one side and modern bass guitar from the other side, this one is around 2.8 kilograms. The strings is a aqua blue from Aurora strings. And I love to use the round ones for a fretless basses. The top is made of popular burl. Stradi.pl website as well as Stradi Luther uh, Instagram and Facebook. Dovizenia. Okay, I don't know what. Oh! Oh my god, that's freaking me out. What is that? That's some crazy, unexpected NAM stuff. What is going on here? Can someone tell me? What is that? Are those real people? This is kind of freaking me out. I think this is like NAM scary horror version. This is a Spanish guitar of flamenco, as I know it. Freaking me out, actually. Come on, let's go this way. We are on the quest for the craziest guitars, the coolest guitars. Please, tell me about these. Our brand name is Opeg Guitar. Opeg meaning the out of place, uh, electric guitars and gears. Unique, hand built guitar only in Tokyo. I love sparkly, anything sparkly. We call it Galaxy Sparkle, and we put the silver sparkle and the rainbow sparkle. Can I touch? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's yes. called the Trail Breaker. I love that. A couple of months ago, the Bruno Mars just purchased this guitar. Congratulations yeah, to thank you. you so much. Where can we follow you on Instagram? Opic.com and okay. uh, Opic Instagram and the YouTube channel. Okay. Arigato, Arigato sayonara. sayonara. These are so cool. The colors, pink, blue. Tell me about this. The design of the of this project is made to be ergonomic and modular. We have many customers saying, Oh, I have to change my instrument because I changed my style of playing. 
we think that this is not correct. We want an instrument that can grow with you, can improve with you, can follow your style and uh, change with you. You can change the armrest to have different shape if you have different playing techniques. And here you can change the electronics to have active, passive, full featured, or to keep everything simple. Also the neck can be changed on the guitar, for example. You can change the neck for a funnel multi-scale neck. The saddle can slide in position. You don't have to change the bridge. And you have a funnel guitar at the price of a neck. Thank yes. you. Where can we follow you on Instagram or social media? We are Marconi Lab. Marconi Lab is the olding company. And the guitar, the brand is Ego Guitar. Ciao! Ciao. Hi, I'm Sylvia. Sylvia, Steven McSwain. Nice to meet you. So we've been on the quest for the craziest and coolest guitars at NAMM. We stumbled in here, of course. I saw these and I was like, oh my goodness. Where do you get inspiration for this? When I was a kid, I used to take guitars apart and put them back together. Not that great. So I had to figure <laughs> out how to do it right. I've always loved like metal and old farm tractors and freight trains and things like that and the patina. So that's kind of what gave me the idea for this was my very first guitar with my shape and my headstock that I'd ever done. In LA, you can find these aircraft surplus stores and buy the old gauges. So I would pull them out of the housings and put them in the guitar. So oh my gosh, and what is this? It's an old aircraft gauge. So this, this is the aircraft yeah, gauge? This oh. is some old scrap aluminum that I found, which is uh, oh my gosh. 60 aircraft aluminum. That so. is so cool. Thank you. So you can literally play air guitar. <laughs> Where can we find you on social media? I am at McSwainGuitars.com. McSwainGuitars, uh, cool. Instagram's McSwainGuitars. That's really cool, okay? It's like the NAM yoga move. Dr. Nicholas Hernandez. This piece is called Emergence, and it's about the emerging American attitude after 911, when there's a lot of sadness, but there's a lot of strength. And you don't want this sucker standing up pissed off, because as Americans, when we're frightened and angry, we do some pretty terrible things. I know, what's going on? Oh, well, you tell me, crazy people. Did you ever think you come to NAM? you see guitars, you see flutes, you see tambourines, you see microphones uh, powered by Mackie. But you don't see sculpture. Did you see the guitars? Oh wait, there's guitars behind me? It's like a body. Uh-oh, this is a little, is this rated PG? No, it's an X. Can I do it, boss? Hey, let's do rock, paper, scissors. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, so you got me. Okay, so I can show this. Can you hold this, Dr. Hernandez? You can look at the front. I made this about 20 years ago. Lenny Kravitz wanted to buy it, but I wouldn't sell it because it's not really a player's guitar. And she's not wearing a bra, but that's okay. <laughs> Neither that's am okay. I. <laughs> and neither am I, actually. <laughs> what is it made out of? This is alder. I carved the body. Can you actually play this? Oh, it's a concert-level instrument. There's a face right here looking inward. See it? it the face is looking inward, and it's oh, called Inner God. Vision Bass Guitars. One of my favorite albums by Stevie, Stevie Wonder, Wonder. Inner Vision. I stole it from him. You exactly. stole it from Stevie Wonder? Hey, every artist is a He's going to be here today or tomorrow. Really? Yeah. I'm going to have to send him over here. Yeah. Please. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. This is why NAM is so much fun. That's roasted bird's eye maple. Where can we follow you? Uh, Woods Cove Gallery in Laguna Beach. Hey. I'm the resident sculptor at Woods Cove Gallery. Well, thank you so much for your time. I feel like I'm just like going through a time capsule right now with these guitars. They're so beautiful and stunning. I love the color. Tell me about them. This is my fourth time doing the showcase, I think. And I learned very early on that I'm not the rest of these guys. I'm not talented. So the trick <laughs> is to just bring the brightest, most obnoxious color combo I can think of. And then it works for me every year. So. Well, you're in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> this is our Banshee model. The rest is just kind of stuff that I build, that I design. I just design stuff that I think looks good and so like our super chief model that is everything i've ever wanted to do after all the years of doing this oh in the one gosh. model so the color i love that very like 50s or thunderbird oh, tahitian cool. coral thank you so much where can yeah. we find you on social media uh, it's all cower guitars k-a-u-e-r guitars.com cower guitars. at cower guitars lego lego the official company was looking for adults that play with Lego. Me, adults play with Lego, submitted a form. Long story short, they liked my story that I build guitars today. I play with Lego's bricks ever since I was an infant. They flew me to Denmark in order to produce a commercial for Lego for adults. And it's on the wall here. You can see me, four years old, smashing a Lego guitar that is a replica of my own guitar. After breaking two of these guitars, which was very painful, they told me, you can pick up the stuff, like the bricks, and do whatever. And then I came back home, rebuild the guitar. This is what you see now. This is the Athena, which is a new model for 2022. 
which was revealed first here. So basically oriented through uh, for the classic player, like offset body, single cut. First time I'm doing the NG cutouts all the way through. New headstock, three, plus three. And this slop chamber inside. And then this one is the first one. Oh, the craziness. With yeah, the I like this one, Sh a little sharper, a little more yeah, so yeah, edgier. Uh, I really elaborate work on the fretboard. It's maple fretboard and inlay with ebony. Actual pieces, not painted or anything. And then colored like ocean, yeah. if you will. I, I like that ocean, that blue and tint to it. Uh, double aired, which is not a, a standard feature on all the guitars. The double aired, blue and mahogany. Back plate. It's sharp. I love the overall look. This one is, I don't know if you're familiar, if you saw it last year, but the NG called Wings. So this is actually an idea from my customer, which I then developed and uh, turned into a feature for Audi. This is inlaid here. And you got the special inlay, which is Buckeye Bell into the ebony fretboard. Seven piece neck with purple heart, bubinga, flame maple, od-guitars.com and I'm there. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. And if you know the band Ginger, they play my guitars. A tesseract, so Daniel Tompkins is endorser. Columbus from Decisive. How cool is this? Beautiful guitar case, beautiful, from Canada. I was asked by Jamie Gale, the curator of the Boutique Guitar Showcase, to make something that expands the idea of what a guitar can be. How long did it take you to make this? I think my stock answer should be, it took me 25 years, because that's how long I've been building guitars. So this is an actual guitar case? Everything I make is a sort of a one-of-a-kind work of art. And yeah, this is an example of a, it's a guitar, but it fits inside the case, which is also kind of a desk, but it's also an amplifier. You're very efficient. Well, it's all in one, right? The guitar is used to amplify a soundboard that's built in to the case. I love it, but my favorite thing is this little four-legged little thing. Can you bring it out? This is hand I get to hold the guitar. This is walnut wood. A lady must sit down. Where are you from? I'm from Ottawa in Canada. So we come to NAMM to see the latest and greatest things. This is an unseen before. Oh, it matches my nails. Look. <laughs> oh my God, 2022. Oh my God, I'm look at his shoes. We have another contest. I would say I don't really make guitar models. I make guitars, individuals. Every single thing I make is a one of one. It's an individual creation. Then I give them names, not serial numbers. So this one here, Water Tiger. It's what you call it, a headless ergonomic guitar. So when you're playing it, it's shaped to fit the human body. So I figure it's easier to do that, to shape the guitar to fit the human, than to shape the human to fit the guitar. He's a philosopher too. <laughs> it's meant to be comfortable, easy to play. It balances naturally. I think it sounds great too. So this is Water Tiger. What do we have here? Oh, it's sold. We cannot touch it. Well, but I can. he can because he made it. This one, it's a very uh, rare and unusual kind of a guitar. It's an, a headless ergonomic arch top guitar. The top of the guitar has been carved from a thicker piece of wood, like a violin or a cello or something. It gives it a, a different tone and just also a different appearance. I'm not going to be gauche, but is it more than $10,000? Maybe not. Oh, we might have a bargain. It's already sold, so no, you can't have it. <laughs> is it light? May I? Yeah. Carefully. No. Of course. Do you think I would be... Oh. You're, you're I have a lot of energy. long nails. Yes, but I just want to go like this. Okay. So why are you trusting me with this so I don't drop it? Because you have nice shoes. He, oh, get the shoes. Elnor, yes, I'm wearing Spiri. And what are you wearing? A sidewalk. Beautiful. Michael, you've been amazing. I like the calmness. What's this called, though, the name? This one is Andromeda. It was built to match the uh, client's other guitar, and the other guitar is named Perseus. Okay, wait a minute. So not only does he do work of art, like one of a kind, he actually, you actually commission and, and do things specifically for clients? If they ask very nicely sometimes. So this one is Mariposa. Mariposa, like butterfly? Yes, because I've used these uh, butterfly dovetails, is what they're called. Okay, hold on. Get close. This is the most unique guitar ever. Butterfly dovetails. Butterfly dovetails. I mean, Michael is fancy. But it matches my nails. How long did it take? I'm sorry, 25 years, I know. Yes, well, I, I probably build 10 or 12 of these a year, sort of spread out throughout the year, yeah. And what is it made of? 
This is uh, from California. It's a redwood burl. It was salvaged from the forest because you don't want to cut down living redwood trees. Can I tell you I'm pro-recycling? No trees were cut down, but of course, because it's been salvaged, it had this big crack in it. So uh, in order to sort of close the crack and be able to use it as a guitar, I used these dovetails to stabilize it. And I thought, why not you know, make it a feature of the instrument? Show off, you know, make them green. It is incredible. Go green. I wasn't married. I would totally marry you because you're smart. It's too late. Sankey Guitars, he's taken, but we can share him with all of you. Look me up on Instagram, Sankey underscore guitars, SankeyGuitars.com. We are at Minaret Guitars, and I think we may have found the craziest guitars at NAMM. Let's take a look. I mean, this is crazy. Is this not crazy? <laughs> is that Alice in Wonderland in the middle? And then all along the neck, you've got characters from Alice in Wonderland. We do high-end guitars here at Minaret. We're always looking for a theme that works through our cultural zeitgeist, where everybody can look at something and go uh, feel that connection. Well, Alice in Wonderland is huge for that. And so we combined our obsessive, detail-oriented designing to an acoustic that has the Alice in Wonderland theme on it. That in and of itself, there's so many Easter eggs and secret things that we've hidden on that you could look at it for hours and continue to find new things. The next level to this was building a self-standing shadow box to display it in. The shadow box on this alone is as crazy as the guitar. As a matter of fact, you'll have to do a 360 degree walk around. We even, there's stuff on the back that's more ornate than the front. The shadow boxes for our custom is brand new. We're working with an amazing artist that's just as over the top as I am. So we get together and we knock a dent in the cosmic timeline with, with the guitars we're gonna do. So this one is, is amazing. There's so much detail. And we also did a collaboration with the Disney Corporation for the Haunted Mansion 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion ride in Anaheim. We made 13 of those. They're all gone. They were blown out, collected by people that are Disney fanatics. And we held back number 10 just so we could show it to people. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. I've been coming to this booth for a long time and it just keeps getting on better and better every year. Obviously nothing normal here at the Minaret booth. Where can we find you on social media? We have a fantastic Facebook page, Minaret Guitars. You can see us there or MinaretGuitars.com. My name is Albert but by it is my nickname in high school. Gula, let me tell you about my brand. Gula is sugar. This one called brown sugar, powder sugar, Bali. This is red sugar. You love sugar. And the base, sweet and low, like diet. So two years ago, I was helping Genta with the, their product. During the pandemic, I started building my own brand. So today I bring six guitar and two bass. This is special for like bali design, see-through epoxy. Because I'm from Indonesia, so hand-carved Bali style. This is for Dewa Bujana, well-known artist in back home, and many album here. So this is designed for him, and I show off with the clearer. All my guitar are made of mahogany. The all mahogany. Since I'm from Indonesia, I'm trying to build a bridge for Indonesian people. So if I'm growing big, I can bring other company from Indonesia to open for like custom shop and so on. So the guitar with the F hole here, but instead I design it so a different way. So they're all different. And I also like to show the wood, meaning like really appreciate the wood. Almost like one piece of wood. Wood are being protected. So you can only they can only sell this steak, this white. So for me to have this white is, is difficult. The sweetness of the fourth string with the fifth string, that's where the low. Sampai Jumpa. We're a San Antonio, Texas based company. We manufacture in Mexico and we wanted to redesign the whole guitar from the headstock to the body shapes to the electronics. This is really new. This is a new, a new body shape, which is the revolver. I think you can see the, the sparkle in there. Well, here's our headstock. It's aluminum. You can see your brand floor in there. Planet Waves, Locking Tuners, Raftec. But the electronics, here is where the thing get interesting. This is a single, single humbucker. You know, there is a five-way switch, all right? But well, here is the volume, all right? Treble bleed. But if you go like this, these two are in series. Now you have a humbucker. You have two humbuckers, now it's a less pole. If you go like this, this is the tone control, you engage this position. This position is a telecaster. You're so fancy. This is the first mini toggle switch. 
in this position you have a this is a capacitor so in this position you have a bumblebee which is gives some custom chop 0.22 if you go down it's a fender uh, orange drop 0.47 if you uh, engage this there is a piezo here it's an acoustic now it's an acoustic guitar but there is another mini switch here so if you turn it off you turn off this piezo and you turn you turn on a resonator guitar oh, wow Oh, I love it. The aluminum here that is going to give more mass to the head sock and a brass plate that goes from the neck to the bridge. This is a Lamborghini of the guitars. Cream that guitars. That's our Instagram. Follow us. Hasta, Hasta luego. luego.